Hi guys, there is a repost in a big group that I read and this is about a Canadian citizenship application that was refused after the immigrant has been living here for seven years and in this video I will talk about the details of this refusal. Hello everyone, this is Ricey and this is Quest Canada. The immigrant is from BD, which I believe stands for Bangladesh. Now, the uh, person was nominated by SINP, which is the Saskatchewan Immigration Nomination Program, and this is the post, and I will read it in verbatim. The title of the post is, SINP nominees citizenship application rejected. I got into a bit of trouble. My citizenship application is in trouble. My citizenship application was in progress for almost 2.5 years. They ask for passport pages, fingerprint, interview, etc, etc. Now just on last month, I got a procedural fairness letter. They want to reject my application. Their reasoning is that I did not stay in my province that nominated me for PR. I was an SINP candidate and when I came from BD, which I believe stands for Bangladesh, I stayed in Saskatchewan for a week and came to Toronto. Living in Toronto since then, in the letter they said, I did not make an attempt to stay in the province nor I tried to contribute to the province as a job or otherwise. They said I signed in my application that I will make every attempt to stay in the nominated province as in good faith, but broke it with bad faith intention. The letter is six pages long and with an appeal date. Of course, I appealed with a very good Toronto lawyer, but the lawyer said, honestly, I will have very tough battle ahead. Even if I stayed at least a year or so, I would have a fighting chance. I am so scared. I am losing sleep. And finally, if I lost the appeal, they will cancel the application. And eventually, I have given seven years to this country of my life feeling sad this is indeed a very sad situation guys if you will look at the CIC website and type in there a question wherein if a person is allowed to move out of the province that nominated him or her the CIC website states this I am a new permanent resident in Canada can I live somewhere other than the city of destination on my confirmation of permanent residence and the answer says, yes, you can. As a permanent resident, you have the right to live, work, or study anywhere in Canada. However, if you became a permanent resident through the provincial nominee program, the province that nominated you has chosen you to bring skills to their province. Full stop. It is quite clear in the website it says yes if you have the PR card or if you are a permanent resident of Canada then you do have the prerogative the authority to live anywhere you want but the part wherein it says however is the very tricky part of it it's um, it's an open-ended situation as if the uh, government or the CIC did not directly state that the province has got the prerogative as well over the person that had been nominated. I came to Canada back in 2018 and I was nominated by the province of New Brunswick and I do clearly remember signing a document wherein I agree that I will stay in the province of New Brunswick to add value to the economy of the province. And when I landed here, I did not even uh think of moving elsewhere i tried to uh, establish myself here in the province itself because of the mere fact that i signed this document and this document is a contract that i had with the government of canada and with the government of new brunswick if you will look at the SINP or the Saskatchewan Immigration Nomination Program website, you will not find anywhere in that website wherein they would say that if you move out of the province, if you are nominated by SINP, if you move outside the province, then they have the prerogative to cancel 
or uh, refuse the uh, the PR uh, application of the person uh, or either the uh, Canadian citizenship of a person would be in trouble. There is no such statement in the SINP website. Neither would you see that in any part of the CIC website and this situation wherein this Bangladeshi or this immigrant is into is quite gray because there is no such statement really directly telling the immigrants that no you cannot move to any other province or yes you can move to any other province full stop and that you should not worry about any trouble at all one major red flag in the situation of this immigrant is that he or she did not even stay, did not even try to stay in Saskatchewan to look for a job or to find a place, a place to rent. A week after uh, arriving in Saskatchewan, the person moved immediately to Toronto. It is as if it was planned all along. It is as if the person just used SINP or the government of Saskatchewan to get into Canada and then use this PR uh, allocation for his own benefit just for his own benefit you have to remember and we all have to remember that provincial nomination programs uh, are existing they do exist for every single province in Canada and there are reasons why they exist one of the main reasons is because these provinces need help economically these provinces need help with population with growing the population and if immigrants or allocated or nominated immigrants do the same thing as what this uh, person had done wherein they get um, allocated with a, a nomination land in the province and then move outside of the province immediately even without trying if everybody did that then there is no sense for the provincial nomination program to exist it will cease to exist in itself and we do not want that to happen i was nominated by the provincial government of new brunswick and i am happy being here and i would want every single possible person who deserve it to be nominated and have the same pathway as well and this is uh, a respect that we all have to implement upon ourselves if we sign a document any document of any nature most especially with the government of Canada we all have to honor such document now the Canadian citizenship refusal is just one part of the story another part of the story is the PR re uh, renewal of the person see the permanent residency card will have to be renewed every five years and this person applied for the citizenship after seven years five years hence down the road when the renewal of the pr is due what will happen to this person what will the government do yes the canadian citizenship was refused but what would the government do with regards to the renewal of the PR will it be renewed or will it be refused as well and this is an even more uh, important question because with permanent residency the person can stay in Canada the person can work live uh, peacefully within the borders of Canada but the moment he or she uh, loses his uh, a PR card then there lies the deeper trouble because then it's either he will have to move out of the country or find another legal status in order for him to stay within the borders of the country what's interesting in this situation though is that if the government implements such ruling with this person then they should implement such ruling across the board no matter what the nationality of the person is no matter how long the person has been living here in canada if they need to uh, uh retro back the uh the, the the laws then they should if other people and, and and i do question the idea that it's only this immigrant that had done it already there are more people who had done the same wherein they were nominated by one province and they moved to another province in less than a year if they implement such ruling to refuse Canadian citizenship 
of this person because he moved to Ontario, then they should implement the same ruling to every single person who did the same. And the question is, is this the case? Is it being implemented to every single person? Or is it a one-off case wherein the government is essentially just giving uh, a warning to every person saying that this can happen to you, shall you violate the rules? Whether or not the IRCC implements such kind of ruling across the board, the truth still remains the same. This person, the immigrant, violated the contract. He had a breach of contract and the contract says that he will do his own due diligence to add value to the economy of Saskatchewan and this contract was outright violated. He stayed for one week in Saskatchewan and moved to Toronto and we do not want to be in the same kind of trouble guys. If you put your name into any document and you sign your name into such document, most especially if the document is a contract with the government of Canada, you have to honor whatever are stated on that contract. Otherwise, deep troubles lie ahead. See, the government of Saskatchewan could have nominated another person from another country. They could have allocated the seat to another person there are only so much uh, allocation of PR for any province here in Canada but the Saskatchewan government nominated this person and this should be respected this should be respected no matter what your situation is there are logical reasons for a person to leave any province such as if the person tried his best to establish himself economically but just couldn't make it happen and stay there for a reasonable amount of time and then move to another province if the person is able to prove such situation then there could be a fighting chance but one week of staying in Saskatchewan does not mean anything there is just no fighting chance there so to all the viewers who seek nomination by a province i hope that this sets to be a learning lesson that when you are nominated and given a, a, a seat by any provincial government you have to respect it you have to honor a document or any document that you will sign and add value to the economy of the province that will not be.